There's one more scientist we wanted to find, a man who left America in disgrace and retired with his wife to the English countryside. Martin Fleischmann, the man who announced cold fusion to the world, is hindered now by years, diabetes, Parkinson's disease, and maybe a little bitterness. At home, he pulled out an improved version of his experiment, something that he was working on when he was hounded out of science. When you hold that in your hand and you think back on what's happened these last 20 years, what do you think? Wasted opportunity. Wasted? Mm. Because it was discredited at the time. Mm. He told us he has two regrets, calling the nuclear effect fusion, a name coined by a competitor, if you loaded the cell with heavy water, and having that news conference, something he says the University of Utah wanted. Now that you know, that your experiments have been replicated and, and improved upon in labs all around the world. I wonder, do you see a day when homes will be powered by these cells, when cars will be powered by these cells? Mm. I think so. It, it won't take very long to implement this. <laughs> you make me feel that I should take a part in this. <laughs> I'm getting you interested again? <laughs> Yes, uh, uh, <laughs> the potential is exciting. The potential is exciting, yes.